So with this one we're going to create an A size title block and we already have our dimensions that we're going to need to create this with. So let's start a rectangle. Remember that the lower left corner should be at 0 comma 0 and the upper right corner is where you're going to put your A size paper. In this case it's going to be 11 comma 8.5. Okay, so in here, next I'm going to offset. I'm going to put in a distance of 0.25. And I'm going to offset this line over to here. Then I want you to go and open your B size title block. Yep. I'm going to copy this bottom portion. I'm just going to put a window around it and use a control C to copy it. You can see that it told me 12 things were selected and copied. Come back to my A size title block for paste. And it should show up and follow your cursor around. and just place it underneath it. Let's go to draw construction line or X line offset the distance will be one enter and let's offset this up at that distance of one and then escape from the command Let's use EX Trim. Select your inside rectangle and click anywhere to the outside. Let's use the Divide command again. And this one is a little bit shorter, so I'm not going to actually get four of them across. I'm going to use them. And I'll type in three as the number that's in my segment. I'll change my point style to the one at the bottom middle. I'll create a line from this node going down the way it perpendiculars to that rectangle. Okay, I'm also going to create a line from this node going down. Let's go ahead and erase our nodes. And then from here at the bottom, I'm going to select the attributes that I want. In this case, I'm just going to take the name, project, and scale. So I'll choose move. I'll select name and name. I'm going to go from that endpoint to that endpoint. I'll move the next two, so the project and project, from this endpoint to that endpoint. And then finally, scale from this endpoint to that endpoint. Let's use match properties. Select this top line. And then you can select everything else. I'm going to erase this at the bottom. You can see that these three are off centered. Let's go ahead and move and select each one of these. And what I'm going to use is going to be the insert point 
And sometimes this is kind of tricky. You can see I'm on the outside of the word name when it highlights or lights up. I'll do a left click there. Then I'll shift and right click and choose mid between two points. Select this endpoint and that endpoint. You can see that I have very few layers created. The title one came from when I copied it. But I need all the rest of those layers into this title block. So what I'm going to do is call in the design center. So I'm just typing in DC. Enter. And what's going to happen is you're going to get a dialog that's going to appear. One of those things that is really good is that I have my B size title block still open and activated up here. So I'm going to select the word open drawings in this tab. You can see that my B size is showing to me. What I'm going to do next, double click on the word layers. I'm going to start one left click on this side and hold. And I'm going to drag all the way over here and then I'll finally release that left click. Now you have to be on one of these. Do a right click and then choose add layers. You can see at the bottom on your command line it's going to tell you that if you've got any duplicates it will be ignored. Let's go ahead and close the design center. And if I look at here at the top now, you can see all those other layers were created for me. Let's go ahead and select this outside rectangle. Select from the drop down and choose the word border. Now you can go ahead and save this one. And this is going to be your A size title block. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this one and thank you for watching.